Belly, can I just call you out since you're still here and can you talk a little bit about the session that you've been working so hard on that's going to be kicked off at five o'clock tonight? Yeah, I will. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Kara. Um, so my event is called The Future of Creative Minds, where I get to invite artists, um, business, and galleries to my event, where we all have a sit-down conversation with my artists and the panel about the art world. And it will be really good if you guys can just come and just sit and learn more about the art world and get the opinions from the artists and even check out the art that my three artists that I uh, picked out are just going to bring in and just see. So, yeah. Awesome. And one of the artists, I just put up the mural behind me. Um, this was another great The Future Of program. Lori is somewhere in there behind me. Um, and that mural is one is by one of the artists you have that you're going to feature tonight. Isanel, right? So the Avenue concept um, is responsible for all the amazing public art we have all over Providence. And Isanel is one of the artists within the Avenue concept. So when the vice president was coming to District Hall for that event with our Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo, um, the White House asked me to try to find a muralist to do on our whiteboard um, something. And she pulled this together in like 48 hours. And let me tell you, working with primary, four primary whiteboard marker colors is a lot different than working with paint on like the walls of the buildings you see around Providence. So I was so blown away by it and we're <laughs> protecting it for as long as we can. And um, we have a lot of companies that rent our event space for like very um, productive meetings. And, you know, they'll work on big projects like Zymedica will work on medical technology and stuff like that. So, and they've often used our whiteboards. So we're so lucky that no one ha that has rented the space has requested that big whiteboard yet. Um, but very excited to finally feature her. And I'm really, really, we're both really proud of the work you, you've put a lot into this belly. What, what year are you, what grade are you going into at the med school? I am going to be a junior in the fall. It's just, you know, when we talk about DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, like I think of it on so many levels, right? And age is something that I I'm fierce about, right, Amy? Jordan, who works on our team, was my intern from Salve. I don't care if he's 22. He's amazing. He's one of the best coworkers I've ever had, and he's 22. And and the same with you, Belly. You show up. You're engaged in our organization. Um, you're doing an amazing job. And look at this. You're leading. Um, not only tonight's, but you also interviewed Carrie. So just bravo. The you know, the the world is looking brighter with younger people like you um, leading the way. So great job, Laurie. I have to call you out and Scott. So I was um, I just took part in local return. Have you, I don't know if any of you have heard of local return, but. Um, Carmen and, and Josh Daly and Jessica David and Sue Andabar and there a bunch of amazing leaders in Rhode Island put together this nonprofit called Local Return and it's about local investing. So I signed up for the first uh, session. I think it's Local Investing 101, I think it was called. So we had four online classes that were an hour and a half long. There was lots of homework and whatnot. So um, last night was the final in that first series. And you know what you're doing with shop local Rhode Island is, you know, that's part of investing locally. So can I just call you out quick? I'm going to, is Paul still here? I know Paul has, I'm going to call you out too, Paul, right after this, because I know you have a hard stop at noon too, but Laurie and Scott are the architects of, of a really great platform. And most of us here might know about it, but some might not. So can you just talk a little bit about the evolution of it and where you are now and what you're working on moving forward? Yeah, sure. Can you hear me? Okay. Cause yeah. Perfect. Okay. So yes, you can always call me out anytime. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, so one thing I wanted to say on the um, Avenue concept is I think it's important because I'm such a, a local focused person. Um, Adler's Hardware is one of the big donators to all the paint that the Avenue concept uses for their amazing murals. I never and knew that. Artists, Thank you for saying that. 
the artists go to Adler's and they have very specific colors in their mind. And sometimes they don't match the, the paint chips and Adler's works intensely with those artists to make sure that the, they have the colors that they, they want for those murals. So wow. I just wanted to do a shout out for that. Um, so yeah, shop local Rhode Island, um, go to shop local, put your products up. We started Shop Local Rhode Island um, as a business directory. Scott and I started it um, in March of 2020. We wanted to give all small businesses a digital platform to communicate from. And it has now turned into a marketplace just launched two weeks ago. Um, we finished our beta rounds. We have hashed out so many backend issues. Um, so we're a marketing organization, so we know that we know how we want things to look and how we want them to work smoothly. And so um, we got through that. We have over 200 products up on the site right now, and we will continue that. Um, our, you know, our issues, as I speak to a business group, I, I know you get this, um, are really trying to understand how to create the bridge between a directory of I'm looking for something and I'm coming to a site and I want to buy something. So the difference between shop and and connect with your community. So we're we're working through that and um, we we're open for business. So I'd love the feedback. I'd love um, to understand what you're looking for. But um, each each segment of the site is up and running, and so far so good. But thank you, thank you for that. I'm, I was going to ask you how can we help you, but um, I know that I think on Facebook I follow you, and I'm constant. I'm, I get notifications when there are new posts. Yeah. So, is that a group that I'm part of or am I just following and the algorithm is working and I'm being fed through my notifications? Well, I we have a great social media manager that manages the social media for both Visual Thrive, our company, and the Shop Local Rhode Island project that we developed. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to say that all her stuff is working. <laughs> I don't, you know, she works intensely and consistently with the businesses on shop local Rhode Island and our goal is within our company and in shop local is to tell those stories and and lift those businesses up with the best marketing materials that they can that they can have and so we really focus on their visions and and, and, and there's a freemium like there's a free version for people to sign up yes. for businesses and then they can yeah. get more with different paid and you're i'm guessing that you're continuing the, the to iterate yeah the um the reason we created a freemium which is five products for free for all of the 2000 businesses that are on the site right now um is because we set the directory up for free we just set it up as a as a platform for them and so we created the freemium offer so that those businesses that needed that voice and that platform and that space still had the opportunity to create revenue through that. So we have the freemium, we get funding um, from commerce, which covers a lot of that internal processing. And then um, we have a best value, 50 products for $50 a month. And we have a premium, which is 90 carry, $90 for unlimited products. Um, it's so good for their SEO just to continue to, you know, have them found in search. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we, the, the directory is there, we continue and little by little, we, we, you know, the directory will merge into the marketplace and then it will be one, but we are in that bridge right now. Oh, uh, Block Island Coffee. Yeah, Block Island Coffee. Go buy coffee. Carrie just bought some Block Island Coffee. The, and Carrie, the other Carrie, is the owner of Block Island Coffee. <laughs> Carrie with yeah. two R's. So, so that, wonderful. Such a great yeah. company. And she was one of your your guinea pigs there in the alpha stage, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's I'm fantastic. Kidding, one of our marketing managers went to Block Island, worked with her, got her all set up. So we we have a team behind all of this to really help people get onboarded and, and look the best that they can, that they can look. And I, I will wrap up because I'm going to call you out, Paul, I swear, because I'm super curious to know about your business model. And this kind of this last question for you, Lori, um, ties into that. 
So I see because your um, social media manager is doing such a fantastic job and you're popping up in my algorithm that um, there are a lot of businesses like all my girlfriends, I live in Wickford, I scream it out loud. Most people know that if you know me um, mm -hmm. and most of my best friends own the fantastic stores in Wickford and work really hard to create the culture that we have in our village. Um, mm -hmm. And um, but so I think it's gonna be like those kinds of retail stores and there are a lot of service yeah. providers that you're helping support. And I love that. Yeah. So yeah. kudos to that. And that's a perfect pivot to you because I wanna know what the care concierge does, Paul. Thank you, Laurie and Scott and Carrie. Thanks, thanks for the time. And drive safe, Carrie, by the way. See you at four. The bar will be open for your, your we'll have your wine ready. <laughs> so thanks for having me. And I, <clears throat> yeah, I was actually, just looking at um, the shop local website, it's awesome. I uh, I may have to sample the Block Island coffee myself. So I'll get into that. So right. my name's Paul Jones. I own the Care Concierge in New England, and that is an organization that is based here in Rhode Island, but also serves Massachusetts and Connecticut, helping families navigate different care options that are available to them as they go on their aging journey living, it could be memory care, skilled nursing, home care, home remodification, uh, you name it, I'm, I, I can help with it. So I'm happy to answer. Do you want me to kind of talk a little bit more about how the company started or? Yeah, so this session is just informal conversation, just like if you were in our district hall Providence space networking and, you know, we were in a group talking and it's just like, oh, what do you, you know, what's the care concierge? So yeah. um, this isn't a presentation. It's not meant to be. I did make Lori do somewhat of a long presentation. I'm very passionate about that, but um, I think the, the, the care economy is really important. Um, we have a friend who's a state rep um, that you may know, Liana. Uh, she's fantastic. She represents East Providence and Barrington, I think. Um, Liana is actually how you say her name, Kasser. And um, she is very passionate about the care economy. So when I saw that, I thought, oh, I wonder if those two know each other. So, um, you know, I have a 78 year old dad who's a beast. He, um, you know, he's a horseshoer, blacksmith, and he still shoes horses every day. And, um, and um, but he should have had hip replacement 30 years ago because he was a cowboy my whole life. And he walks, you know, with a limp and doesn't take anything. But at some point, you know, I'm, I'm starting to think about that, right? Like at some point that beast, I mean, I see him slowing down. Um, he better never see the recording of this. Fortunately, he's not dig too digitally savvy. But yeah, so can you you just give like an overview maybe um, for a couple yeah. of Yeah, well, when you talk about the care economy, here in Rhode Island, we have a significant focus on uh, what care is all about and how we care for each other. And that's how a lot of people in this state make their money. Yet, <clears throat> through hospital systems, private care systems like assisted livings, um, the doctor's offices, et cetera. The problem is, you know, there's so many options, especially in this state and Massachusetts and Connecticut as well, but especially in Rhode Island. And for families who are in crisis trying to figure out, oh, what happened? My, my dad just had a fall and now his hip is broken. Or my loved one um, who has dementia is now the topic of a silver alert, which unfortunately is happening more and more. You know, where do we turn? What do we do? And how do we manage it? I used to work in the assisted living field. So I was an Alzheimer's care director um, first, and then I moved on to be an executive director. And I got really, I got kind of tired of how over commodified care had become and how for people who are in the crisis, unfortunately, there are some companies out there that want to capitalize on that crisis and uh, use crisis as a way to encourage people to make decisions maybe too quickly before they're ready and then commit X amount of thousands of dollars to to, uh, to make an option happen for the lo their loved one. So I decided to start the care concierge to give people a fighting chance when they're trying to figure out what's out there, especially for things like memory care. That can get so complicated so fast. I know so, I know so many people impacted by that. I just um, had to drop my car off, my air conditioner broke. And um, I was in Warwick and I noticed something I've never seen before because I went up West Shore Road, elder care insurance, something like, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, <laughs> you know, because to your point, Paul, you don't think about it until it, you're in crisis oftentimes. Um, 
you know, hopefully we're more proactive, but um, we, why don't you share your, your link? And if anyone here listening um, is interested in learning more, um, feel free to share whatever links are applicable. Um, thank you so, so much for being on. And um, yeah, that's, that's good to know. I think. Thanks for having me. And I, I do have to run, unfortunately, but before I do, does anyone have any questions they want to ask me about care services, care concierge, just general, what's care like in Rhode Island, anything like that? I have a quick question, I think. Yeah. Um, so concierge, because all the issues with health insurance and hospitals is moving into like general practice and pediatrics and all of that. Do you see uh, like your group growing into those other areas of care? Good question. Yeah, it is a good question. Maybe, um, maybe, but far in the future because mm -hmm. The, the elder care industry is still growing so exponentially every year. Um, believe it or not, so 39 cities and towns in Rhode Island, more than 55 different assisted living communities. So most of those are concentrated in Warwick and Providence, but still, that's a lot of different facilities just for assisted living and they get skilled nursing and all that. Yeah. So for that industry, it's growing so much and grown ever more complicated. As we start talking about things like will Medicaid be accepted? Uh, what does Medicare cover in a congregate care environment? What is long-term care insurance? And how has it changed since the 90s um, when you could just buy long-term care insurance? And now you can't. You have to buy it as a rider on something else. It's much different, much different product. And there are reasons behind that. Hmm. So maybe eventually. Um, but right now, you know, <laughs> you can't see all the white in my beard, but it's a uh, <laughs> good thing that <laughs> well, thanks for doing what you're doing and definitely sign up on Shop Local Rhode Island because more I people did. need to know yeah. about your service. I did. Yeah. I, 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 Lori Scott loves to talk to you about how I can um, be part of the site. So, you know, yeah, thank you, everybody. Reach out. Wow. So, Monica, what's up with Tech Collective this week? Thank you, Paul. Hi. Great to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, probably the biggest thing that's going on, and I just put it into the chat, is Tech 10 um, is now open, um, as well as Next Tech Generation. So for those of you who do not know, once a year, the Tech Collective holds a, a huge gala honoring the top 10 techies in the state. So people who are really going above and beyond and thinking creatively. Um, and then that I'm actually right now, Katie and Sean just released an online um, a class a series. Mm -hmm. Chris is on here. He's got an amazing like tech offering company and Lori and Scott just created this. So like yeah. literally all of you could be nominated for the tech 10 awards. Right. These so. are these are the people and then write that next tech generation is for those not just the youngest right we're not just talking about people who are in their first two years of their career but maybe you've you've been in a career in one field and now you've moved to tech later in life but these are like your first years kind of developing or for the the entrepreneurial business this is the place to go to nominate to you know if you know someone you can self-nominate as well if you feel like you've you know your business has got what it takes or you've got what it takes to be in this um i think something important to note though just as we've worked through a, a different award ceremony is there is no cost to this so if you're the winner we we pay for your ticket this year's event will be december 1st it will be at district hall which we're thrilled about as it's the right it is that hub of entrepreneurial spirit and technology coming together um, rhode island monthly covers this event so their december issue will have a whole area just devoted to technology but again there's no cost for you if you're the winner you don't have to pay to get into their magazine We'll have a video that NEIT is making of all of the winners that we'll give to the winners. You can stream it on your business social media channel. You can put it on your LinkedIn site of your you know, interview, but it's a great way um, to promote kind of what you're doing. I know Ray Nunez uh, from the Nunez company was a winner last year and he just was like, it opened up so many channels for him. So please take a moment, take a look at that page and nominate someone or nominate yourself if you feel, you know, you're the appropriate winner for that. And we look forward to 
to seeing you at the event on December 1st in person. And it'll be like one of the first big galas in Providence ready for the Christmas season. And who knows, Tuni, what you may have as a backdrop by then, some beautiful piece of artwork done as we all get to collaborate together. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Monica, mm -hmm. um, as always. And if you're not signed up for the Tech Collective newsletter, please do. I just, um, was it late last night, Monica? I sent you and Creosa. I, it, as, as swamped as our inboxes are, I really feel like Monica writes such thoughtful emails that are not just thoughtful, but they're, you know, um, thought provoking as well. And I always find myself just planning on skimming, but getting sucked in. And I'm always glad I do. And um, so, yeah, sign up for the, there's a lot of cool programs coming out of Tech Collective and um, they've scaled back to take a step back before they take a step forward. And, um, and it's working really well. So thank you for yeah. being on and thanking, thank you for all you do. Thank and Katie, you. Um, I have started um, diving into your new online class. So um, I know, and then like I started and then I got pulled away and I have to go back, but great information. What do you think about it? I think it's great. So I, you might not know this, but I built a bunch of online classes, big SEO for small businesses. When I partnered for a year and a half with, um, Amy at Hub Digital Marketing. Um, okay. The problem I had with that, a couple problems, um, was you know, I'm Rhode Island's economic gardener. And as we built those online classes and we were using Zoom, this was like what, three or four years ago, four years ago, um, we were using Zoom before it was like a common household word, right? Um, that it, it, for me, I'm Rhode Island's economic gardener. And I love helping small businesses, but I was helping small businesses in Texas, in Maryland, and. I'm like, okay, it's pulling me farther and farther away from my life's mission, purpose, values, you know, all that stuff. So I think it's great. Your content is great. Um, it's painful, isn't it? I was I was talking about it with Amy because I said, oh, it brought me right back to, um, I wrote most of the content, the scripts and everything. And like, it's hours of, of taking that B-roll <laughs> that you have to edit down. My son is a filmmaker and he, we were driving him crazy. Finally, he's like, I need to walk away and I'm just gonna, I'd rather spend hours editing than sit here with you two while you're going, you know, doing it. So it's, it's a lot of work to build online classes, bravo. It really is. And I've got a, another one coming out that um, it goes more in depth into strategies for companies that do decide to go hybrid um, how to make that work in a way that supports the employees, supports the mission of the company, make sure that there's not communication lags and gaps and all of that. So that's that's the next one that'll be out next week. Super but timely. 10 million hours of film to get to, like, to you know, 15 minutes. It's, it's wild. And I know we're a couple minutes over, Amy. I just want to say that today's workshop was fantastic, Katie, and we will definitely be pushing that out when the video is ready. I think that thank you for offering such important free that deck in itself has like you know if you print the the slides out you can use those like I don't know if you have PDFs attached to that but like I was looking at some of those slides thinking ooh that would be a great PDF to like just have on hand to print out um, great tools there so thank you for all you do for our community together we are stronger I always say that and you know. We have the best community here in Rhode Island. Everyone's so collegial and complimentary of each other. So I will close with that, Amy, and I hope to see you guys at four. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye.